Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm Rich. And we are Wonderbus Adventures. We are working part time to turn our beautiful Mercedes Vario into a camper van. So, what have we been doing? We have finished the installation on the roof. We've been removing wheels, breaking things, and fixing them. Luke has fixed our rusty wheel latch for us. Thanks, Luke. We've been tidying up. Hope you enjoy and leave us a lovely comment below. Cal just put in our solar cable in some conduit. It's quite fat conduit, but we don't want it to get chased. So we're gonna tape it up behind the insulation and run it down through somehow into our garage area. Not that garage over there that's full of rubbish. Garage area that Kelly sat in at the moment. <laughs> We've run the solar cable and the cable down for the lights in this conduit. It's just so they don't chafe and you can see we've got a rubber grommet in there too. And that runs down behind here and we're going to run it in our bathroom wall down into the garage area. Let's do a bit of foam work to make sure that that's sitting here flush. Is it Wonderbus Adventures break time now? Yeah. And then I'm going to be the Wonderbus Adventures on the top of that. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> What do you think about how tidy our garage is at the moment? Good. You think it's good? Yeah. So we don't need to tidy it out? No. I'm telling you we do. Lil says she was just joking. We're actually finding it um, really difficult to sort of work at the moment with all of this mess. So we shouldn't have let it get this bad, but weather and tidying up and all of that jazz has just got ahead of us. So we're gonna spend uh, the afternoon tidying this out now and then hopefully we can get the minis out and show you a bit around those too. Yeah. Careful with, with the end of it. Yeah. Oh, then carry on. I'm going to pull out my broom. Um, oh, we've got everything out. I've just got to find home through it all now. Anyone want any doors? Yeah, so everything is tidied now in the garage. It's still got a lot of stuff, but we've got everything in sort of piles <laughs> that we can get to. We can access all our tools now and most of the stuff's off the floor. For a load of stuff and we're ready to press on with the build. So the next thing that we had to do was have a think about what we might need to prepare for the welder to come. So we pressed on with trying to remove the wheel so we can fix that really rusty wheel arch that we showed you in a previous video. Okay, so in prep for Luke coming, one of the things I do need to do is remove this wheel. The threads on them are a little bit rusty. So before I remove this tomorrow, I'm just gonna soak it in this. So this is plus gas um, releasing lubricant for penetrating oil. I'm just gonna spray that on each of these and then that should make it a little bit easier i think they're going to be a big pain in the backside, but let's see i applied the penetrating oil yesterday so i'm going to see if these will crack off now i'm Oh, that one's tight. <laughs> oh, and that one snapped. Okay, so yeah, that one snapped off. You can actually see in there that there's always been an imperfection in that, which is bad news for me. But now I'm gonna have to get that thread out. But first of all, let's try and get the other ones off. So at this stage, with the penetrating oil doing its job, I soaked it in WD-40, just to remove any moisture and rust from in there. I also cleaned the threads out, which I probably should have done before with a wire brush, because they were, they were sort of filled with dirt and paint, actually. So cleaned the threads out with a wire brush, and then moved on to just removing them with the breaker bar.
jacking up the Mercedes Vario might seem a little bit daunting, but what all I did was put my jack underneath the front subframe, underneath where you would have your shackle bolt for the leaf spring. So it was a nice fl firm flat area, and then I've just jacked it up on there and then used the axle stands either side to keep it secure whilst I get the wheel off to have a look at that snap stud. Okay, so I've let that soak for a while now. I'm gonna give it a whale with a normal hammer first to see if it'll move. I might need a press, but I'm hoping that this will do it. Move on to the big boy and punch. I'm just going to soak it back a little bit more in this. That'd be 40. See in here now. It has started to come free, so that's good news. Unfortunately, the lug was stuck in that position, so I decided to put the wheel back on so I could move the bus. To free the brakes off, the slightly rusted on, I decided to move the bus forward and this is the first time I've driven it actually, so it was quite exciting. You wanna know what the feet looks like? It looks like this. It's out! So I tried drilling this, shouting mean words at it, hitting it, and it didn't work. So Luke came along, he whacked from one end, we heated it up, I leave it from the other and it came free. And then as you saw in the video, whack, 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 perseverance, and it came out. So we've got the new lug to go in next week. Um, I'm gonna heat it up with a big torch that Luke's gonna bring, and that, that should help press it in there It'll be nice and tight. So happy days, <laughs> it's out. Okay, so remember the hole that was there before? It's now gone. It's all nice and strong. All new metal in here and all the way around. So nice and strong. I'm gonna seam seal it up. Seal it up with some stone chip. And then it should give us many years more service. So we're just going for a little walk. Um, then he's got a project from school. One of the other things that we need to kind of do is keep all the dirt and stuff out of the rest of the cab now that we've got things going on in here. So I'm gonna rig up something along this beam now with a tarp just to keep all that dirt out. Sorry about the sinister rustling in the background, but we are tarped up to the max. So this morning what we're gonna do is clear the bus out because it's full of um, detritus and stuff from uh, our ongoing projects and then some of these have come loose because I've been still on the roof. So a little tip for you there. I guess don't put your insulation up if you're gonna be going up on the roof. But that is the way a lot of builds go. So we're gonna um, stick these up with some different types of adhesive just to make sure they're stuck. And then when we ply line in a week or two's time, 
in this cross. Um, that will hold it in place. But we can actually rotate our seat, so I'm going to do that now just so we're, we're, we're working in here. It's not super straightforward because they're quite heavy, but it is possible, so I'm going to do that now. Because we've done loads of work on the roof with things, some of these are a little bit loose and so we might glue some up and also go and put the foil in now. Go on then. That's it, a bit higher, a bit higher, a bit higher. Stand a bit further away, then you'll get a better spray of it. Oh, no, a bit closer. A bit windy today, isn't it? Mm. Right, careful you don't get it on your shoes. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, that's probably enough. But yeah, that's quite, that's enough. <laughs> Good job. And the next one, I will do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's like Spider Man's been here. Spider Man has been here! Hello, hey, Mum. Hello. We're now going to see if the bit of the bit insulation that Lily Spider Man's on is yeah. in there. We've got Daddy from the up. Look, guys, Daddy's been really amazing. He's. It looks really interesting to grown ups, but not children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right with that. And it's not very really interesting. Right, but Lily, the Spider Man start. came and then did webs all the way down there. Can you can't believe it, guys? What is it beginning with? No, I said a colour. Oh, colour, what is it? Dark brown. Something that is dark brown. Hmm. Is it a tree trunk? No. Nope. Is it a bird? No. Is it a house? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Woo! Nice guy. I spy with my little eye something that is white. Now, we think this is quite possibly the biggest box we've ever seen. It's nearly as tall as me, and I am a massive hulk of a man. <laughs> At five foot six, maybe, yeah, that was a good thing. Five foot six, yeah, I reckon. Can you use this for spraying stuff on? Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. actually. Are they making a box for them now? Look at our conservatory. There's all the bits we need to spray. <laughs> Yay! So, update on our rusty screen. Luke is coming back on Tuesday to start work on it for us now that we've got that part. Um, I'm on holiday this week as well. So I'm going to be working on loads of bits and bobs on the bus and we should have a nice update for you next week. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and give us a comment. It really helps our channel out. And we hope you have a really great week, guys. Um, thanks again. One, two, three. Bye. Bye. His name is Lonely, one of us inventors' mascots. Slide up there again. Up on his perch. I'm getting him more seed. Okay. Because he might be more hungry than more. There's lots in here. Oh, I got more! Put some on the grass for him. Okay. I can't see it. Well, we don't want him flying in the conservatory. Lonely's wife is back!